Hi, I'm going to show you how to merge two data sets or two tables in Microsoft Access. So the first thing you're going to need are two tables or two data sets. You can import them, you can create new ones, whatever. So let's look at this first data set here. It's a list of employees or position and a unique ID called an employee ID. And data set two has information like uh, age, education, and gender, and also has this unique ID, uh, employee ID. And as you can see, some of these match up and some don't. And we'll deal with that in a second. For now, we're going to do a regular join and we're going to merge by this employee ID and the ones that match will all come together. So let's do that by going to create query design and then let's add our two data sets. And what you want to do is you want to find that unique ID that's in both data sets and merge them together like this. So click on the ID, drag it over to the other one like this, and bam, that's it. So to make sure it worked, you want to maybe click on a few fields or click on this little star thing, hit view, and there you go. So these are all the values uh, that are in both data sets. So 1A, 2A, 3A, and 4A. So you can see 8A and 9A are not in data set one here, right? So if we want to get everything that's here uh, plus whatever is in data set two, we can do a left join here. So to do that, let's go back. Let's uh, click on this little thing right here. And what we're going to do is include all records from data set one. So that's all the employees that are in data set one. Uh, and only those that are equal in data set two. So basically, if there's a match in the other, it'll provide data for it. So let's do it like this. Let's click on that, hit OK, and let's go ahead and run it. And you can see that these right here uh, are in data set one. And in data set two, they are not there, uh, but these are. So it just merges whatever is in uh, both, um, but it also maintains what's in data set one if you do a left join like that. If you want to do a right join, uh, basically this is the right. Just go ahead and click here again. This time we're going to go here. All records from data set two and only those records from data set one that are equal. Hit OK. And again, you'll get this. So everything that's in data set two and whatever matches in data set one. So that's all there is to it.